What's up everybody, Tony here with iTech Check, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at a mini projector made by Vivibright. Now, this thing is pretty small, and it's really compact and lightweight. Now, part of the reason why this is so light is because everything on here is pretty much made of plastic. The only thing that's not plastic is the glass lens. So, if you have kids, or if you just wanna have a little projector to kind of move around um, that you can use pretty much anywhere, this is pretty portable. It doesn't use batteries, it does use a, a power adapter that comes with it. Uh, and you can also mount this on a tripod if you need to raise it up, or if it's not on a stable uh, platform that's level, you can use the, the tripod to uh, level that out as well. So it pretty much comes like this. In this box here, there are three different colors to choose from. Everything comes very nicely packaged in um, foam, everything's protected. And what you get in the box is your projector. You get this remote control. You need two AAA batteries to use. Here's the power adapter. It's 12 volts, two amps. And then you get your user's manual. Now this projector supports 1080p inputs, but it only outputs 480 by 320. It's not a 1080p projector, so things you know might get kind of blocky um, on the the picture we will take a look at that as soon as I uh, plug it in for you but it has a few different connections that you could put on here it's got an HDMI um, you can use the USB port and the SD card slot to project you know movies you might have on an uh, on a flash drive or an SD card and you can also plug in a gaming system anything that uses HDMI you can plug in here but the USB and the SD card are mainly for videos stored on flash devices and like I said before, it's very simple to use. It only has a couple different things on here. It's got a power button, and this is to focus. Now you, you really need to have this a certain amount of distance away from whatever you're projecting on because the focus only focuses so much. But again, we're gonna hook this up and we're gonna see what the picture quality's like. Okay, so it looks like you needed to have it at least 20 inches away from whatever surface you are projecting on because that's the furthest it'll be away to where you can actually uh, focus in on whatever you're trying to watch. Now, as I showed you the um, remote control before, you really need this remote control to do anything on this projector besides power it on and off. To access the menu or anything like that, you're going to need to use the remote control because there are no other buttons on the projector. And this is the brightness in a very well lit room. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off some of the overhead light. I'm gonna leave a little bit of the light to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like in a you know dimly lit room, but still some light so you can see. Okay, so here's what it looks like in a semi-lit room. The only light that I have coming in is from one window. All my other lights are turned off, and as you can see, you can see it a lot better. So anything in a semi-lit room to a, a very dark room is gonna give you the uh, best viewing picture. So let's go ahead and go through some of the uh, menu here. As you can see, we can look at photos, music, and movies. And again, that's going to be on your uh, flash devices or a hard drive. Let's go into the menu here. You can change the, the language. There's a picture mode. You can change um, from some presets or you can set it yourself. Here we have the color temperature, aspect ratio. It'll do auto four by three or 16 by nine. Sound mode, standard, music, movie, sports, user. It also has a setting for surround sound, but you're most likely going to need to have this hooked up to a sound system or maybe your headset because this only has one speaker. It's pretty loud though. You can also flip it in case you have it mounted upside down. There's a factory default setting and a software update by USB. And that's pretty much the only settings this has. It doesn't have any uh, settings for keystoning, so you really need to have this dead on um, level with, with whatever you're projecting on or it's gonna look a little distorted. Now you can, you can project it up or to the side, it's just the picture's gonna be a little distorted. Here we can pick our inputs, USB, TF card, or HDMI. You can mute the sound. As you can see, it's pretty it's pretty crisp. It gets a little um, blurry around the edges, but more towards the middle, it's pretty clear. 
Um, I don't know if you can tell or not, but you can see some screen door effect on that, and that's because it's only 480 by 320, but you can still see what you're looking at. Okay, so here we have the projector set up with a fire stick. Um, I'm not using any external power. I have it plugged into the HDMI, and I'm using the power from the USB that's provided with this projector, and it's working fine. So here we have the fire stick. What you're going to want to do is if you have your fire stick set to uh, like surround sound or something, you're going to have to go into the settings and change it to stereo because it won't put out any sound if it's in surround sound mode. It only works in stereo. So we're going to go to YouTube. And here we have our little manual. And we also have our wireless C charger, the little charging puck. For so as you can see, it's really, the picture is not really that bad. The only thing... Uh, I would complain about is the little screen door effect, but again, that's due to the resolution. There's nothing you can change about that, and this is projecting uh, a 1080p 60 hertz signal. And again, you can also hook this up through your headphones or an external uh, audio source to give you a better sound. So this is at the 20 inches. I'm going to go ahead and put this onto a, a tripod mount, and we're going to see how big we can get it and what it looks like. Okay, so here we have the projector uh, set up on the other far end of the spectrum before we had it set up the very minimum you can have it away from your um, screen. And then this is the furthest away that they recommend that you put from your projector screen. It's about 100 inches away and it projects about an 80 inch picture. Now this is the brightest it's going to get. You can't make it any brighter. And then it also, as you notice, uh, the bigger the screen is, the more um, boxy and pixelated things are going to be. So things like a uh, text are going to be a little harder to make out. In case you guys want to check these out yourself. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use that link because it helps me keep purchasing products to do reviews for you guys. And as a thank you to all my... So as you can see, the picture is definitely viewable. It's not super bright. Uh, and like I said before, the further away you put this projector from your viewing surface, uh, the less bright it's going to be. But this is in a room, and this is being shown in my theater room, which is pretty dark. So you can still make out the picture. Like I said again, it's not super bright, but it's definitely viewable. So as you can see, while I'm trying to search for something on YouTube, you can almost not make out uh, what the text is. As you can see, there's something with a little darker picture. And then here I'm turning down the brightness um, just by using the picture mode to kind of show you uh, what the contrast ratio is like. If you look at the upper top of the image, it's almost as dark as the surrounding projector screen, which isn't too bad. And then this is what the fan noise sounds like right next to the projector. Now for my final thoughts on this projector. For one, it's, like I said, it's really portable, it's nice and light, it, and it's simple to hook up and use. It only has a couple different buttons on here to really adjust and turn on, so that makes it really easy. You also have an input that you can use for pretty much anything that has an HDMI, or if you want that portability even more, you can use a little uh, SD card or a, a flash drive to watch some movies. That one speaker in here is pretty pretty darn loud and you also have the option to use headphones like I said or hook it up to an external uh, audio source. The fan also isn't really loud. I mean when you're watching a movie and the sound is up all the way you're really not going to notice that fan noise at all either. I'd probably recommend this for maybe a first projector for a child that you don't really you know care if it gets knocked around or such. It's, it's only $60 so you know if it falls and breaks you're really not out a lot of a lot of money. So if you need something, you know, to kind of uh, keep your kids entertained, but you can, you know, bring it around very easy and it can still give you up to that 80, you know, inch picture, uh, this is not a bad option. I can't recommend this for uh, home theater use because you're really not going to get that high end picture quality that you that you require for watching, you know, really good videos and such. I do wish there are a couple more buttons on here, maybe to select the menu. Uh, maybe some up and down arrows because if that remote control breaks or the batteries run out or you can't find it anymore, 
you can't, you're not going to be able to really use this projector anymore anyway because you need to have that remote control to select anything on the projector. The only button that's here is the power button so you can turn it on and off. So other than that, that's pretty much it guys. Again, I will be putting a link in the description in case you guys want to check this out yourself. You can get this on Amazon for about 60 bucks. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use that link because it helps me keep purchasing products to do reviews for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell to let you guys know when I put out new videos. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Later.